Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to week three here in the Dungeon Bowl of the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. We're at Nuffleheim tonight because it's going to be Knee-High to Nuffle versus Bonsai Legends, Clypheus versus Berserker Tempest, Chaos Dwarfs versus Underworld Denizens. After week two, you can see the standings here in Division A, pretty symmetric, beautifully symmetrical standings here in Division A, a minor matter, and take the wood, take the bad. Currently in first place in Division A with four points each. Tainted Cocktails, Jingles all the way, not far behind with three points. Womb Guardians and the Nurgle Burgle Boys in fifth. And in Division B, we have Pity the Ghoul and Tracksuit Mafia currently tied for first place. Petting Zoo players in third, Bonsai Legends in fourth, Knee High to Nuffle in fifth, and Genus Chaos in sixth. Tonight's going to be Knee High to Nuffle and uh, Bonsai Legends duking it out, trying to increase their ranking here in this midway point of the round robin in the competition. After five weeks, the top two teams of both divisions will make the cut and advance to the top four. First up, we have Knee High to Nuffle. Oh boy, man, look at this roster. Coached by Clypheus. <laughs> well done. Well done, bravo. <laughs> uh, Clypheus, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Coming in on TV at 15. 10. I think this is the first time all competition long that he's had a full roster in that he has a full complement of Chaos Dwarf blockers and Bull Centaurs. He's got the Minotaur as well. Two Bull Centaurs, six Chaos Dwarf blockers, the Minotaur, and three Hobgoblins. A 12-man lineup coming into this ball game. Boulder Dash is the veteran Bull Centaur. Level three as the block skill and guard. These Bull Centaurs are defined, of course, by their heavy MA and their strength of four. Their MA is six. They have sprint and sure feet. That gives them three GFIs a turn if they wish. And sure feet will let them re-roll one of those. Uh, a new Bull Centaur coming on the pitch. Uninsurable. I don't doubt it. He's coming in at level one. Uh, all of these dwarves. This is basically a dwarven team with some Bull Centaurs and a Minotaur, right? So the these chaos or these chaos dwarves here are dwarves. They have block, they have tackle. Tackle's gonna be a huge boon for Clypheus tonight. That's gonna negate the dodge skill for Bonsai Legends. They have, uh, they're very, very slow. They're not very agile, but they have a fantastic AV of nine. They're very resilient. And if that wasn't enough, they have thick skull. Thick skull means that on an eight, instead of having, uh, instead of being knocked out, they're gonna get stunned instead. So it's very, very hard to take chaos dwarves off the, or to take dwarves in general off the pitch. He's got a number of skills on these dwarves. One of them has Mighty Blow, that is scary. Lots of guard on this roster, three players with guard. That's gonna be lots of assists he's gonna be able to give to these players. Dwarves like to be bunched up, and if they have guard, that makes them all the more scary. He's got Briar Rose, the number six Chaos Dwarf blocker. He has Dauntless. He might be trying to leverage that tonight. We'll see. Dauntless is gonna allow him to roll a dice if the roll works out in his favor. He's gonna match his opponent's strength. That means there's just one assist he'll need to get the two die block on higher strength players. Only two hobgoblins of note to talk about. He has three on the roster. One's, uh, I'm sorry, they're all leveled up. So two of them have the block skill. Man, I, I am in awe at just how much block is on this roster. Lots and lots of block. Uh, <laughs> anyway, two of the Hobgoblins have the block scale. One has sure hands. He's almost certainly going to be a ball carrier. We could see the Bull Centaurs be ball carriers as well. Dobby has a wrestle. Wrestle means that uh, if you get a both down result, you don't have to uh, you don't have to break armor. So if, if you wrestle a player to the ground, whether you're the blocker or you're being blocked, you can just both go down. There's no armor break and there's no turnover. Finally, of course, is the big guy, the Minotaur. The, man, the Minotaur's leveled up and has Claw. That means he's got Claw. He's got Mighty Blow. And that's on top of Frenzy. This Minotaur is scary, and he is almost certainly going to be the Blitzer for as many turns as Clypheus can make it possible. It's going to be up to Bonsai Legends tonight to try to stop that, to try to lock this Minotaur down, maybe even take him off the pitch. We'll see. But man, what a scary roster this is right now. Full up. 
1500 TV Chaos Dwarf roster. I, I'm glad I'm not playing it. <laughs> Three TRRs, one Apothecary, seven Fan Factor. That's almost certainly going to give him the fan advantage tonight. But he will be up against newcomer Berserker Tempest, coaching our second Underworld team of the competition, Bonsai Legend. <laughs> Bonsai Legends, <laughs> whenever I find the key to success, a one is rolled. Too true. <laughs> Too true. <laughs> He's coming in with a full roster as well. 13 player roster, a TV of 1030. That means he's, my goodness, that means he's getting 480,000 gold in petty cash today. We're going to have to talk about that. But this roster is still fairly early. Uh, Bonsai Legends making their de debut in the season, indeed in the league, uh, here in the Dungeon Bowl. That means he's getting a lot of petty cash in almost every game that he's going to play. Boy, <laughs> he's got... Uh, uh, he's got the Skaven players and he's got the Goblins, right? So the Skaven players are basically your positionals. He does have the Skaven linemen, um, but the but the linemen, quote unquote, are really the the Goblins on this roster. The Goblins are standard Goblins. They're pretty squishy. They're not very strong, but they're stunty. They have dodge. They can be chucked by the troll. He's got the two Skaven Blitzers who have not leveled up. The only level up he has so far is the Skaven Thrower. He picked up accurate. That gives him a plus one to his pass. Uh, to his pass is not a bad pickup for a thrower at all. Three TRRs, one apothecary, one fan factor. What is gonna happen tonight? Well, on the strength of the rosters alone, knee high to knuffles got the advantage. I have to say, uh, I think underworld teams are at their weakest at low TV. They're very fragile. You can see they have that AV of seven, lots and lots of goblins. Uh, the Skaven aren't much stronger. Uh, so what typically uh, an underworld team wants to pick up those those mutations, and that's where they start to shine. Being at a low TV, how does Bonsai Legends combat this massive Chaos Dwarf army he's fighting tonight? I think it comes down the, to the inducements. 480K in inducement money means he's got a ton of petty cash to spend, and he can spend them on star players. I, I think that's what he wants to do tonight. He has... He has a whole bunch of very good star players to pick from. He has enough money, he can pick up Morganthorg. Morganthorg, I think, has no play. <laughs> it's very rarely that I say this, but I don't think Morganthorg really has a place on any team whatsoever. <laughs> I think Morganthorg is way too expensive. He's uh, 430,000 gold. I don't really see a good use for him. I doubt Berserker Tempest is gonna pick up Morganthorg tonight, although he could he could uh, afford it. Everybody else, though, is relatively cheap, and. Uh, there, there's a place for all of them, I think. So he has a, the option to pick up the Skaven, uh, the Skaven star player, Glart, Glart Smash Rip, right? He's got a, a movement of seven, he's got a strength of four, decent stat line. He has block, he has claw, he has juggernaut. Boot Polish says, they can on with the board game, not in BB2. I still think trolls should be able to throw the goblins at opponents like a weapon. Oh. <laughs> Yes, not in BB2. <laughs> uh, Skitter's another option he has. This is another uh, Skaven star player. This is basically a gutter runner with an MA of 9. He has an AG of 4, right? So super fast, really agile. He has dodge, he has prehensile tail, shadowing, and stab. With that high movement, uh, shadowing can be very effective. Stab is a straight armor roll. It's very similar to a chainsaw. It's just it doesn't have the the modifiers. Uh, so very hard to take some of these more resilient players off the pitch, but you could certainly go after those hive goblins, no doubt. But more importantly, Skitter is not a secret weapon. He's a Skaven player. The three remaining uh, star players he has uh, access to are all goblins. They're all secret weapons. That means they can only be out on the pitch for a single drive before the ref calls him off the pitch. He can pick up league favorite Nabla. That is the loony with the chainsaw. He can pick up Bomber Dribblestunt. That's the Bomber Deer. He can pick up um, Fez. He can pick up Fez, uh, who's the ball and chain. So the Fanatic. So he's got options there. I, honestly, tonight, I think he goes one of two ways, right? He can pick up, he can pick up Glart. I think Glart's a fantastic pickup. Um, he could pick up Nabla, he could pick up a bribe, and then he can keep Nabla on the pitch for more than one drive. But I think he has another option. If he picks up Skitter, he could also go for a Merc. He can pick up a, a Gutter Runner Mercenary, 
And now he's got two gutter runners, and now he's got a ton of speed against this team. And he can score very, very, very quickly. Two turns, easy, with two gutter runners, and the Merc he could also hire on if he, well, he could hire him if he had any money in his treasury. <laughs> but that might be a way he goes as well. Uh, otherwise, he can pick up the standard inducements such as uh, you can pick up the babes to keep these these fragile players out on the pitch to, to pass their KO, their inevitable KO rolls. Uh, but we'll see what he wants to do. I think, I think in order for Bonsai Legends to win tonight, they've got to leverage these star players. And depending on the star players they pick, that's going to betray the strategy they want to go with tonight. Uh, so, I, I mean, who's to say? Who's to say what he picks? Looks like the game is underway, so we're about to get started here. I'm very excited to see what he picks up. Man, I really think it comes down to these star players for him tonight. Looks like Nihon and Uffel's gonna be on defense to start. And they're setting up a very strong defensive line here. Maybe they're not on defense to start. Maybe they're actually setting up an offense. Looks like they're actually... It might be on offense. Oh, Dead Freddy! Thank you! It is sweltering heat to start this game. Wow! Berserker Tempest ended up taking the extra team training and a wizard. Not bad. Wizards are pretty strong. He wanted the uh, extra reroll as well. It gives him a massive... Fo Wait. I thought Nihai had three rerolls. He didn't pick up a Master Chef, did he? Did he pick up a Master Chef? So it looks like Nihai is actually on offense. I think he picked up a Halfling Master Chef. A Master Chef and a Wizard. Wow! <laughs> so he ended up stealing one, one reroll away from Nihai to Nuffle. He's gonna get to do that again on the second half. I think that's I think that's a great option as well. I think that's a really great option. If he can already knee high to Nuffle going down from three TRRs to two, that's a huge blow. There's a we've talked about this time and again. There's a huge difference between three rerolls and two rerolls, and uh, he's more than likely going to pick up at least one. So if he can pick up more, the, the more the merrier, right? And. Uh, and he's got that wizard as well. That wizard is so scary. That wizard once per game will be able to throw a fireball, which affects a, uh, a three by three grid on the pitch with a four plus to knock down anybody in that grid or a lightning bolt where you can affect one player and it's a two plus to knock down that player. So just having the threat of the wizard really changes how your opponent wants to play. And when you're up against a Dwarven team or a Chaos Dwarf team who wants to have a tight cage on offense, that fireball is super scary. Two die block to start this game on the line. On the left defensive tackle, they're gonna get a push and follow up. Short kick by Bonsai Legends. Two die block on the right side. It's going to be a good knockdown. That's a tackle in play. We talked about it briefly in the pregame. Tackle negates the dodge skill. That's going to stop these goblins from dodging away. That means Bonsai Legends is going to have to be very careful about the marks they take with these goblins. Goblins who get marked, typically they don't care. They're stunty and they have dodge. They can dodge away, quote unquote, for free. But with the tackle skill, they lose the dodge skill. Knee had enough. It looks like they're going to cage up on their own six yard line right where the ball is. It looks like they're going to try to get into the hands of uninsurable. I think the ranger says, sure, it would be a shame if that Minotaur got killed by a fireball. <laughs> sure would be a shame. <laughs> no, it looks like he might try to cage up. Might try to cage up maybe on his own two. Somewhere around the line of scrimmage. He'll save the ball pickup for last. He still has a blitz on the table. Two die block with the Minotaur. He's going to get a push against the troll. Remember, that troll can chuck goblins as well. Frenzy follow up. One die follow up gets the pow. Surprised he didn't blitz first. 
Looks like he was looking to see what happened with this block. Wanted to free up the Chaos Dwarf blockers. Here's a blitz. Two die, uh, three die blitz, excuse me, on number 10. That tackle skill in good effect again. That would have been a dodge push. Got the knockdown, though. Hank the Ridge says, he's gonna let the rookie pick up the ball? He's gotta get experience somehow. Get him in that game. Get him in that game. He signed a he signed a contract. He's on this team. He's a pro. He played he played college ball. Uninsurable. Don't you remember him? He played for the University of Um Nufflesville. <laughs> ah yes, Nufflesville. <laughs> Here's the ball pickup. It's gonna be a four plus on the pickup. Failed the pickup. He probably won't spend the reroll. Ball will scatter out toward the left sideline. And now, turn one for Bonsai Legends. They're gonna have a tough time with the number 12 goblin here. He's not gonna be able to leverage his dodge skill to get out of harm's way. I I like this pick of a wizard and a chef. I think that's a I think that's a good pick. I think if it were me, I probably still would have gone. I think I honestly I would have gone with uh, skitter and uh, and a gutter runner. I think that would have been my pick. But I like this. I like this chef and a wizard. Bonsai Legends sending number three Skaven Blitzer down the right wide zone. It's going to get him into potential scoring position. Might try to apply some pressure to the rear of the uh, rear of the would-be cage. The thrower back in the safety position over toward the left side of the pitch. Here comes the Blitz. Two die Blitz against the number six Chaos Dwarf blocker. This will be a push. Moves forward with the remaining movement points he had with his blitzer. Really trying to apply some pressure to the ball here. He's got a good mark on number six. The blitz can clear that up though. He's gonna try to dodge out that goblin, but he doesn't have the dodge skill to use. Is he gonna end the turn here? He's gonna spend one of his free, or I guess I should say stolen rerolls. Failed the dodge, that'll be a turnover. Turn two now for Nehi to Nuffle. They're gonna get a block on number 12 here. Two die block on number, tw uh, three die block on number 12. He has the guard, uh, he has the assist from the number nine guarding Castor blocker. And that poor goblin is injured. He'll be off the pitch. One man player advantage. He's out of the game. One man player advantage for Nehide and Nuffle. Dead Freddy says all that tackle is bad for goblins. Yeah. Yeah, as we, as we mentioned, that, that tackle skill is going to be a huge boon for, for Clypheus. Another good hit. Again, this would have been a dodge push, but another good hit due to that tackle skill. Number 11, number 11's gonna eat a block shortly. Two die block on the number five Skaven lineman gets the pal here, well done. I thought he was on fire. <laughs> Boot polish says dwarves are anti-stunty for sure. Yes, indeed. Mark on number two, looks like the blitz might be coming on the number two Skaven blitzer. Here it is. Two die blitz. Good knockdown. He's gonna set up. He's gonna set up the blitzer toward the sideline and gets a great stun out of it. Skaven blitzer 
in a little bit of danger of being surfed if he stands up and uh, happens to fail a dodge. He could dodge this way currently, but Nihai might not allow him to. Three die block on number eight. Good knockdown. Good knockdown due to the block skill. Under a minute to play for Nihai to Nuffle. Sweltering heat means that on the beginning, uh, on the start of the next drive, just random players are gonna have an opportunity to be knocked out due to heat stroke. This could work in either team's favor. So really, on that first turn with sweltering heat, uh, you bad pickup the ball is gonna scatter onto the sideline. That's gonna make the pickup next turn a little scary. He might want to bring in, he might want to bring in Robin Roundcap to pick the ball up next turn, lest the ball scatter off the pitch and get thrown in who knows where. First turn with sweltering heat. You really have to make decisions here, right? So you can see here that anybody, basically anybody on a one gets called off the pitch. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, or not called off, but they, they have a heat stroke, they collapse. And uh, that can be really scary. So maybe you want to stall a lot longer or a lot harder than you might otherwise, right? Like an Elven team, they don't typically stall all that long. Well, maybe they stall when, when uh, Sweltering Heat's in play because you don't know what's gonna happen on the next drive. Of course, nothing could happen on the next drive. Who's, who, who's to say? <laughs> Maybe all the coolers are stocked and everybody's well prepared. <laughs> and Ranger says, I will put an entire nickel on the kickoff result for you. Nice day or clear skies <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> it is the most common kickoff result. <laughs> One die blitz to start this turn. Wow. Had to spend the reroll on the both down result. Got the knockdown on the number four Castorf blocker. Very hard to take these dwarves off the pitch, but a knockdown is also... Uh, a lot more valuable on a dwarf than it is against other players. These dwarves only have an MA of four. When you get knocked down, it takes three to stand up. This effectively means their movement is only one space. And of course, they have the GFIs if they want to move further. Bonsai Legends applying this high pressure on the ball here, and that will be the turn. Turn three back to Nihai to Nuffle. Two die block over on the right side of the line. Good knockdown. Can't take these gobbles off the pitch. Gets a stun, though. Another two-die block. Another knockdown, thanks to Tackle. Another stun. Minotaur probably taking the Blitz on number 11. Uh, not the Blitz, the uh, block on number 11. Two-die block, another good knockdown. Three die block with the Minotaur. This time a dodge push gets the frenzy follow up, gets the pal here. Hank Thrange says knee high enough, has to be careful trying to get the ball. Another fail, and it could end up in the crowd. Indeed, that's what uh, that's what we were talking about earlier. Uh, he needs to be careful with this ball pickup. He might want to pick it up with number ten here, who has sure hands, just to ensure it doesn't it doesn't fall out of bounds and get thrown in. <laughs> gets thrown in to say number six or something. The number two bull centaur, the veteran bull centaur, moves back to mark number three, the Skaven Blitzer, who's applying rear pressure to the cage. Blitz on the thrower, gets the knockdown well done. And another stun, wow. Is that three stuns on the pitch? Three stuns on the pitch right now. Blitz has been spent. And now, yeah, he's gonna do the... Oh, I thought for sure he was gonna pick it up with Robin Roundcap. Wow! Wow, he's gonna just leave it up to the re-roll here. He's gonna spend the re-roll. Fails the re-roll, the ball mercifully does not scatter out of bounds. Wow, wow, wow. He had enough old down to one re-roll for the rest of the half, turn three for Bonsai Legends. 
SP Viewer asks, how many players are left standing for Bonsai Legends? Two? Uh, one, two, yeah, two. <laughs> two standing players. <laughs> Three! Three standing players! There's number five! Hank Ranger says that rookie is not having a great quarter. Yeah, whose idea was it to give it to the rookie? Boo! That's what I said from the very beginning. I was like, you don't want to give him experience. He's new to the game. What an awful idea to give him the ball. <laughs> Ted Freddy said he should get sacked at halftime. <laughs> you know this is a game about about football, right? <laughs> you, need, you need to pick it up and run. SP Beaver says number five is Brave standing there all alone. Uh, I have to imagine he'll dodge out uh, later in this turn, but we'll see. Troll moves up. Passes his really stupid roll. It was a 50-50 roll. He marks number seven. Here's a mark of the bull center. He's going to take the one-die block. He is going to take the one-die block, and he gets a pal. Wow, well done. Well done. I, <laughs> I, I mean, you got to take the surf attempt, right? You have to take the surf attempt. You must. <laughs> Oh boy! Wow, what a throw in! Wow! Wow! Bonsai Legends, the ball was thrown back in on Nehide and Nuffle's own 20 yard line. Bonsai Legends has the speed to get there. Let's see if Nehide and Nuffle can keep them locked in place. And Ted Freddy says, race for your life, Charlie Brown. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of that surf, uh, I, I mean, I think I might have actually done the uphill block, right? Because you just need a push result. Um, and I, 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 ugh. I don't know. Maybe his decision was better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> his, his decision had better odds. Two-die block gets the knockdown on number 11. He's going to try to knock down number 6. Still has his blitz. I have to imagine the blitz coming on number 3. But who can he get there? There's a mark on number 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a GFI blitz on number 3. Oh, of course, he's got the bull centaur. But he's not going to blitz the bull centaur. He's going to move the bull centaur back toward the ball. GFIs for one. Will he GFI again? He's got three GFIs. There's two. Is he going to GFI a third time? He does. And there's that sure feet in place. Sprint gave him three GFIs. Sure feet gave him that reroll. Well done. And now he's marked the ball. And there's the blitz with the Minotaur. He's not going to do the GFI blitz. He's going to take the three die blitz on number six and push him to the side. Doesn't want to push him towards the ball. Frenzy follow up. Good combo here by Nehide and Nuffle. Gets a mark on number six. I, I, boy, can he get an assist on eight? If he can't, I would still take this block. Or I'd take this blitz, rather. We'll see what Bonsai Legends is going to do. Final turn of the first quarter. Remember, Bonsai Legends still has that wizard hidden somewhere in the stands. That lone bull centaur should not be feeling safe. Skaven Thrower moves back across the line of scrimmage. Oh, 
Two rerolls left for Bonsai Legends. <laughs> the Ranger says, Dear sweet baby Neville, please let Bonsai Lightning Bolton kill that rookie centaur. <laughs> that would be hilarious. It would be hilarious. Oh, he's just going to dodge out. He's not going to take the blitz. I think that's a fine dodge. Yeah, good pickup. But now what? I think he stays put and he ends his turn with a lightning bolt. Yeah? I'm not sure. I don't think he wants to dodge. Has a block to take with the troll. And then I think he ends with a lightning bolt. I think that's what you do. Tried to dodge away from the Minotaur way back up by the six yard line. It's a 50 50 dodge. Is he going to end his drive here or end his turn here? He's not. He's going to make this a 75% dodge. Fail the dodge. And that will be a turnover. Turn five for knee high to Nuffle. He had enough as a number of players that can descend on this ball carrier now. They've got uh, the number eight hobgoblin who can get there. Uh, the number three chaos dwarf blocker can get a mark with some G uh, some GFIs. But more importantly, this guy, Boulder Dash, he can get there with ease. Two die block way back in no man's land. This will be a push result against the number 10 Goblin. This is way back on Bonsai Legends own 10 yard line. He's going to blitz with the Hobgoblin, so he's going to get the two-die blitz here. Has the block skill, but so does the blitzer. It's going to be a knockdown. Where does the ball scatter? Wow, the ball scatters to knee-high's 24-yard line, just outside the end zone. Knee-high enough with one reroll remaining. No more movement with the Hobgoblin unless he GFIs, and he's not going to. Takes a mark on the thrower. Can't block the thrower. Another mark with the thrower, this time with the, tw uh, with the Minotaur. Dead Freddy says, foul with the Bull Centaur. I absolutely would not foul with the Bull Centaur. <laughs> I wouldn't risk my, my Bull Centaur on that foul. Gets in front of the number six Skaven lineman over in the left wide zone, just trying to get some tackle zones between the Skaven lineman and the ball. Nihad Nuffle is going to have to end this turn with a ball pickup attempt. He can't just leave the ball sitting there. And here it is. Good pickup by the Bull Centaur. Uninsurable finally gets this ball in his hands here at the beginning of the second quarter. Ball moves to Nehi's own 16 yard line. And now Bonsai Legends, squarely on defense again, needs to figure out how to stop the forward movement of Nehi to Nuffle. Look at the Bull Centaur. Look how far they can move on a turn. They are so scary. They are so scary. And of course, there's strength of four. There's the lightning bolt. Lightning bolts the ball out of the hands of the Bull Centaur. Bull Centaur knockdown, didn't break armor, but now he's got to convert this into a TD. How's he going to do it? He moves. Number three, the Skaven Blitzer into the end zone. Is he going to try a pass with a, with a thrower? How's he going to get the f thrower free? Mm 
Is he gonna try to dodge the line? No, he tried to dodge the thrower. It's a very tough dodge to succeed on. He's gonna have to spend the reroll here. Succeeds on both dodges! Wow! Wow! Bonsai Legends takes the lead! Unbelievable! Wow! Two dodges, he had a five plus on the first one, spent the reroll, succeeded. Negative ball pickup. Dodged away again. Wow! Wow! Well done by Berserker Tempest. Berserker Tempest scores on the half that they were on defense. They're going to be on defense again. Wow, wow, wow. What a score. And I believe they have a one-man player advantage due to the uh, sweltering heat. So one player's off the pitch due to sweltering heat for Bonsai Legends. Two, <gasps> two for Neat High Nuffle, and one of them is, of course, uninsurable. <laughs> oh, man. So one-man player advantage now for, uh, for Bonsai Legends. Wow, would you believe it? A one-man player advantage for this Underworld team against this leveled Chaos Dwarf team, thanks to the weather. Thanks, Nuffle. <laughs> Nihai is only going to have three turns here to try to tie this ball game up. They're going to be on defense in the second half. They really want to make something happen here if they can. Here's the kickoff. That's a rock throw, and that's gonna... It's gonna be a KO, and that's gonna tie it up on the pitch, 10v10. X, fantastic kick for Bonsai Legends. They didn't even have a kicker. Wow. Kick the ball to the 24-yard line right in the corner of the pitch. They're giving up, or uh, Neon Nuffle has nobody on the left wide zone. Wow, and they're going to start this drive with a KO. One man player advantage now for Knee High to Nuffle. Boy, <laughs> Bonsai Legends had that player advantage for the briefest of moments. <laughs> 10 v 9 on the pitch now. Bonsai Legends with no rerolls remaining, Knee High with one. Blitz in the right wide zone. Pow against the number eight Goblin. Only one player left standing on the on the line right now, and that's the troll. It'll be a two die block against the troll currently. He hide an awful. Needs to try to score. They're down a bull centaur. Boy, man, I mean that's that's tough. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six, one, two, three, four, five. They can't do it with the hobgoblin. <laughs> they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to pass this ball or something, or hand off or, or, or something. Under a minute to play in turn six for knee height and Nuffle now. Blitz has been spent trying to figure out what to do with the rest of their team here. They've taken a mark in the left wide zone. Eventually, they're going to have to go for this ball. It'll be the last thing they do on this turn. Dead Freddy says, hand off to the veteran bull, <laughs> the veteran bull centaur, Boulder Dash. Somebody who knows how to handle a ball. Boulder Dash is just going to trample forward. Wow. What's the plan? What's the plan? Good ball pickup. Is he going for a pass? 
Or is he just going to hold on to it this turn? He's going to hold on to it this turn. Two die block. Back at the line of scrimmage this is going to be a both down result. And the Minotaur gets stunned for his trouble. Turn six for Bonsai Legends. <laughs> Their logo looks like a looks like a cabbage patch kid. It looks like a garbage pail kid. I mean, I don't know what those are. I'm not old enough to know what a garbage pail kid is. Never heard of it. Bonsai Legends moving the number five Skaven Lyman down pitch, along with the Blitzer number two to apply pressure to the ball carrier. Skaven Thrower moves down pitch too. He says, you know what? If you can get past me, that's fine. Your whole team can get past me, but you know who can't get past me? Your ball carrier. Adam Uffle is going to have to get rid of this ball on turn seven. What they do, how they decide to do it is going to be the question. That'll be it for Bonsai Legends. Robin Roundcap, hand off to the number 11 Hobgoblin, maybe? Is that going to be enough? He's got to get somebody in scoring position. The Bull Centaur is one space away currently. He's going to blitz the Marking Goblin. It's going to free up that Bull Centaur. Tackle and accurate. What was that? Why did that say accurate? What does accurate have to do with anything? <laughs> Frees up the bull centaur. Takes two die block over in the left wide zone. Gets a pal. Got one reroll left. I imagine he wants to save that for whatever he's going to do to move this ball down pitch. Looks like it's going to be a handoff to number 11. Here it is. Failed the handoff, has to spend the reroll. Failed the reroll again. And that is going to be it. Knee had enough, not going to be able to score here on this turn. Turn seven for Bonsai Legends. We'll see if they can get this ball back and score again. They get a mark on Robin Roundcap, the sure hands hobgoblin. Two die blitz. Good knockdown. You think number five is going to go down pitch? I imagine that's what's going to happen. Good pick up by the thrower. Yeah, there's the pass. Good pass. I don't think he needs to score on this turn. But he's going to do it anyway. Two to zero. Are you seeing this? Good pick up by the thrower. Remember, he has accurate, and there's the score. Took the GFI, I don't think he had to, but took the GFI. Man, man, <laughs> two to zero. It's not even their half. <laughs> One turn left in the first half. Who's out? <gasps> oh, well, at least it's only one turn. There's three players out for Bonsai Legends, one for Nehide and Nuffle. It's not going to matter too much unless there's a riot, <laughs> which there could be.
if there's a riot, there's a 50-50 shot that Nehide and Uffel's going to have an opportunity to score here. Wow, Bonsai Legends. Two fantastic TDs in this first half. Three-man line for Bunzai Legends. Currently a five-man line for Nehi to Nuffle. Two-man player advantage for Nehi to Nuffle. It's 10v8. Nehi desperately hoping for a riot here and hoping it goes their way. Here's the kick. Quick snap. Nihai's gonna get one free movement with all their players, one free space of movement, that is. Nihai and Nuffle's not gonna be able to score, so all they're gonna do is block as many players as they can. It's gonna end up being four players to block. We'll see if he wants to go for the foul. I, I imagine not. Um, but at this point, he might just be saying, like, man, my chances to win at this point are so slim. Maybe I make it easier on myself if I have to meet uh, Bonsai Legends later in the competition or perhaps even in the Blood Bowl. Two die block. I don't that has got to be a bug. I don't know what that accurate is. <laughs> Two die block. It's a knockdown. Desperately trying to take these gobbos out of the game. It's just not happening. Double skulls, that is it for Nehide and Nuffle. Turn eight. To petting zoo play, uh, not petting zoo players, uh, Bonsai Legends. Bonsai Legends can't score either. And they just say, you know what? I'm cool, I'm good. <laughs> Two to zero, Bonsai Legends currently in the lead at halftime. They are gonna be on offense here to kick off the second half. Man, Dead Freddy says, what a half, what a half indeed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Boy, man, that Master Chef, that, you know what? That does look delicious. I, you know what, I would lose two rerolls as well. That looks absolutely delicious. Me, I had an uffle down to one reroll. Boy, <laughs> boy. Two out with heat stroke on either team. I think that's gonna give the player advantage to uh, Bonsai Legends. Ten v no, it's ten v ten on the pitch. Ten v ten on the pitch. Five man defensive line for Nihad and Uffle. Currently a four-man line with two wide in the right wide zone for Bonsai Legends. One back to receive, that's all he needs. There's not a kicker. Uh, I think there's not a kicker. Yeah, no kicker for uh, Nihad and Nuffle. Here's the kick. Nehide and Nuffle gets mercifully gets back a reroll thanks to his fame. I think he, he must have the fame advantage, right? Yeah, plus one fame advantage. Surprised it was only a one. Nehide up to two rerolls. Zai Legends with, I don't know, 16 rerolls? <laughs> Bonsai Legends with a lot of players up at the line. Four players on the line with two wide over in the right wide zone. Three players back in the half, two in the halfback position. One's wide over in the left and the thrower back to receive. 
Outside Legends currently deciding, uh, no doubt, deciding where they want their Blitz to happen. They won't lead off with the Blitz. Oh, the accu the, the old accurate stunting. <laughs> I guess everything's accurate now. <laughs> Here's the Blitz. Two die Blitz against the number two Bull Centaur. Gets a pal. Well done. SP Beaver cheering for the defense. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Good knockdown with the uh, number three Blitzer, and then he'll move the Blitzer into position to mark the number seven Castorf blocker. Two die block with the troll gets the pal on number six. A Chaos Dwarf blocker now over in the right wide zone. Has an uphill block coming back. He's going to have to get an assist in here somehow to even that out. <laughs> An accurate mighty blow. <laughs> moves, moves the number five lineman back toward the ball. It's going to move the blitzer as well. Number two back toward the ball. Now he's going to go for the ball pickup with the thrower. Well done. Might be, yeah, might be a turn for him. Turn nine now for knee high to Nuffle. Two die block on number 13, back at the line. The brave number 13. He's only going to get pushed out of the way. Hank the Ranger says, at least the wizard is gone for Clafius. Yeah, that wizard, it's always scary when the wizard's on deck. Once the wizard's spent, at least, at least you can sigh and be relieved that you don't have to worry about that terrifying wizard. Two die blitz on number 11. He's going to get the knockdown here. He goes, oh, gets an injury as well. Well done. The, the accurate mighty blow. One man player advantage for knee height and awful. They're going to have one more point of movement with this blocker. He's going to move him forward. He needs to be careful that he doesn't get left behind. He's still pretty far away from the ball carrier, so he's probably okay. And that opens up a hole to move the number 10 hobgoblin, Robin Roundcap, down pitch. He's going to get between number eight and the thrower. Dead Fred says, I mean, I guess an accurate punch is correct. It was an accurate punch. <laughs> the rocky bull centaur gallops down the hole that was opened up by the Castorf block, uh, the blitzing Castorf blocker. Gets a mark on the scam and thrower. Two die block. Back at the line against the troll. Gets a pow. I thought those were sweatbands around his wrists, but I think I think they're just torn off cuffs. <laughs> Marks the number five Skaven lineman. And that'll be it. Turn 10 for Bonsai Legends. And now knee high to Nuffle, the one with the aggressive defense. They are the slower team, though, so they have to be a little careful here. Two die block gets the knockdown on number seven over in the right wide zone. This is way back just across the line of scrimmage. Ooh, 
Moves a goblin back to get the assist on number eight. It's going to be a both stand. He spends the reroll. Why not? You have a hundred of them. Failed dodge by the thrower. He spent that reroll. And now the ball is loose. Oh no. Nihide and Uffle has a reroll. They can make this a 75% ball pickup attempt. And then they can score. Wow, taking these blocks first. Oh boy. Probably the smart thing to do, but I'd be so scared. <laughs> oh, a good injury in the number 13 goblin. A good injury? I guess all injuries are good injuries. Two man player advantage for Nihide and Uffle. SP Beaver says, time for a, re a redemption story for the Rook. Yeah, we'll see if he can pick this ball up. Can he score with anyone else? No. Pick that ball up, uninsurable. I believe in you. Come for the blitz. Oh, gets the knockdown. Scary, scary, scary. Great stun. He hide an awful. I have to imagine they're gonna go try to pick this ball up. They're gonna move players into position just in case it doesn't work out. Everybody else is marked. I think that's the best they can do. Here it is. First attempt. Works out. One or two to one. Knee hide an awful on the board just like that. Man, this game and its touchdowns. Well done by Knee Hide and Nuffle. Every single touchdown has been scored by the defense. And now Knee Hide and Nuffle is back in this ballgame. The beautiful Knee Hide and Nuffle cheerleaders. We'll see what happens with the sweltering heat. One out for each team. I think this is going to give the player advantage to Nihai to Nuffle now. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that, he has an 11-man roster? He has a 10-man roster. He has an 11-man roster! Oh, my goodness! 11 v. 8? Is that what I see? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven 11 v. 9. Two-man player advantage for Nihai to Nuffle, which makes sense. He had a two-man player advantage before. <laughs> One out for each. <laughs> so two-man player advantage for Nihai to Nuffle. They still have both of their re-rolls. If they get lucky, they can get a third. And Dead Freddy. And it's a scorcher today! <laughs> Bonsai Legends still with 57 re-rolls available. Seven-man defensive line for Nihai to Nuffle. Three-man offensive line for Bonsai Legends. Two in either wide zone. One in the halfback position, the thrower yet again back to receive. Here's the kick. High kick. Bonsai Legends gets an opportunity to try to pick this ball up. And failed. Two-turn defensive TD for a Chaos Dwarf team. My, I, it took me a little bit to pick up my jaw. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, man, you can see the power of those bull centaurs. They're just so fast. And if they get the ball in their hands, they're so strong. It's hard to knock them down. Bonsai Legends is going to get players around this ball. Try to protect this ball this time before trying to pick it up. See if he takes any blocks on the line. I probably wouldn't. Good pick up by the thrower. That might be it for Bonsai Legends. We'll see. Oh, he's going to take the two-die block here with the, the troll against the... Uh, the cast roof blocker. Not 
not a terrible risk there, but he he did risk the the really stupid roll because he had an ally next to him. It's only a two plus to succeed rather than a four plus. Turn eleven, knee high to nuffle. Can they make it happen again? Will we have nothing but defensive touchdowns this game? The best offense is a great defense. Is that what they say? <laughs> T9 block. Accurate tackle. <laughs> Game's gonna really throw me for a loop when it says something's inaccurate. Sends a dwarf down the right wide zone. Sends a dwarf down, the blitzer was down the, the left wide zone. Applying pressure again. Failed the wild animal roll with the Minotaur. Unfortunate, that was a two plus. Uh, did he spend, are he, when you're a wild animal, if you're blocking or blitzing, you have to roll a d6 on a two plus, you succeed and you can take your action. Otherwise it's a four plus and if you fail, you lose your action. He failed there by rolling in one. Two-die block with the Bull Centaur gets a good knockdown on the number six Skaven lineman. Hank the Ranger says, regardless of the result of this game, it's been fun to watch. This game has been great to watch, man. It's been a blast already. What a game. I might even watch it again. <laughs> good knockdown on the troll. Number 10. Robin Roundcap, that's the Hobgoblin with sure hands. He's down pitch, he's down at the 12 yard line. Marks the number 10 Underworld Goblin. He gets Gazintite, the number nine Chaos Dwarf blocker in front of said Goblin. That Goblin's going nowhere unless he's pulling back and moving to the right. Well, I guess he could dodge out this way if he wants to make it three dodges. Turn 12 for Bonsai Legends. This Chaos Dwarf team in full aggression mode. Bonsai Legends is going to send the number three Skaven Blitzer down the right wide zone. The thrower follows suit, moves up GFI. Oh, no, that wasn't a GFI. <laughs> moves up to the six yard line. Bonsai Legends own six yard line. The troll failed the really stupid roll, spent the reroll, got through loner, and this worked out. He's going to get a push on the bull centaur. Bonsai Legends with no rerolls left for the turn, though. Three left for the game. That's it. Turn 12 for knee high to Nuffle. Oh, boy. What do you do? Two die black, double skulls. I'll have to spend a reroll. Wow, that just barely worked out. No reroll left for knee high to Nuffle. One left for the game. Two die block on number seven. He's gonna get a push. That's gonna free up number eight. He might just make this a one die blitz. One die skilled blitz. You'd have to dodge out first. Dead Freddy said he can get two dice on the ball. How does he get two dice on the ball? Is he gonna dodge out the, the bull centaur? Failed the wild animal roll again with the Minotaur. Unfortunate for Nehine and Nuffle. Oh, I see, I see. Knock over the troll. Fair enough. Which didn't happen because of the Minotaur. <laughs> I think he's still got to go for it anyway. He's going to get left behind otherwise. No. 
Good knockdown. He's got a four. He's got a one die block on the troll if he wants to take it. It's a skilled block. The knockdown made it a two die block with the hobgoblin. Now he's going to blitz with bull. Oh no. Yeah. I think Boulder Dash is all he's got. Two die blitz with Boulder Dash. And that is gonna work. Where will the ball scatter? Scatters back to the 10 yard line. And got a stun out of that as well. Very good stun. That Skaven thrower will be out for a turn. Very good action order here by Clypheus. Wow, really well done. Really well done. He's picked apart this offense. Just look at this. There's only one player left standing for Bonsai Legends. Two players left standing. There's uh, number seven and the Blitzer, number three. Where does number nine go? Number nine's gonna move back. And mark number seven, turn 13 now for Bonsai Legends. Wow! I I am shell-shocked. First turn of the final quarter of this game. Man, this is this is so beyond my skill level. <laughs> really well done. Bonsai Legends now, hoping not to give up another TD and have this ball game tied up. A game that just four turns ago felt in the bag. Now in danger of a draw, at least. Two die blitz gets the pal on the number six Castorf blocker. Good dodge by that blitzer. Is he going to go for the ball? Stood up his team. Is he going to go for the ball? I don't know what option he has, really. Uh, yeah, Dead Freddy says he has to pick it up. He has no choice. Good pickup. Moves the ball back to the 14 yard line. Failed the really stupid roll with the troll. <laughs> this time failed the loner reroll. He's down to two rerolls. Man, these big guys have just had it with this game. They don't know what's going on anymore. They're like, why can't our offenses? Score touchdowns. This is ridiculous. Dead Freddy says if he keeps it next turn, he may want to punt. That that is certainly an option. In Blood Bowl, you can do a pass. Uh, you don't have to have a receiver to pass to. You can pass to any square you want. Um, if you pass to an empty square uh, and there's nobody there to catch it, of course, um, then that will be a turnover, but that's what's considered a punt. <laughs> Hank the Rangers said, was that an accurate? It was. It was an accurate loner. <laughs> Two die block. Good block on number five. <laughs> an accurate stupid fail? It sure was. <laughs> Two die block gets the push on number seven. He'll get another block on number seven coming up. The Blitz almost assuredly coming on number three. Two die block gets the POW on number seven this time. Boy, oh boy. Two die block. On the left side of the... Uh, do you call this the line anymore? <laughs> the left side of the line. It has one more two die block with number ten. Probably going to blitz with, yeah, blitz with number two, Boulder Dash. 
Two die blitz gets a pow here against the blitzer. Where's the ball gonna scatter? Scatters right next to Boulder Dash. Of all places to scatter, it scatters next to number nine. It's gonna be a minus one on the pickup. Is Nihad enough of even gonna try? Another failed big guy roll. The Minotaur fails Wild Animal yet again. Two die block with number 10. Good block, it's a KO. Three man play advantage for Nihide and Nuffle. <laughs> Accurate stunty. <laughs> Yeah, failed the pickup. Is he gonna spend the reroll? He's not. I think that's a wise choice. Gets a, a more favorable scatter here. He's got He's got a Chaos Dwarf blocker on the ball currently. Turn 14 to Bonsai Legends. Boy, what a game this has been. Man. Bonsai Legends sends the thrower down pitch across the line of scrimmage over in the right wide zone. Dead Freddy says two die blitz punt. Stands up number three. The Skaven Blitzer down near the ball, currently marked by Boulder Dash. Finally, the troll stands up, succeeds on the really super roll. Failed the pickup with the goblin. He's going for the pickup, he's gotta spend the re-roll. Failed the re-roll. That goblin is gonna get hurt for that, for the audacity to try to pick that ball up. But what else were you gonna do? Turn 14 for knee high enough. Two die block on that poor goblin. He gets palled. He's gonna block him onto the ball. Ball's gonna scatter one space. Gets a good stun. Tries to scatter it in the hands of the hobgoblin. Scatters it back one space. There's gonna be another block this time by the Castorf blocker against number nine. Two die block by Boulder Dash on the Skaven Blitzer will be next. Wow, another injury. That's a four-man player advantage for knee high to Nuffle. Two die block on number three coming up. It's gonna take the two die block first over on uh, toward the left side of the ball on number eight. What on earth? He took that with a hobgoblin? Why? <laughs> All right, there's something happening that I don't understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is he gonna blitz him? Like, I don't, I don't know what the play is. Pick up the ball with the bull. Why would you pick up the ball with the bull when you could pick it up with the hobgoblin? All right. All right. So this makes a little more sense. He's got, he's got Dobby over here. This frees up Dobby to pick this ball up. I mean, he also has Robin Round, uh, Robin Roundcap, obviously. Obviously Robin Roundcap, with sure hands. Good ball pickup. Stays put, he, he moves one space forward to the 12 yard line. He had enough on really good shape here. Yes, Beaver says pass. <laughs> He's gonna mark number three. That's the uh, the threatening Skaven Blitzer at the moment. <clears throat> Ball caged up. Some blocks. 
back of the line to take. Takes two die block with the Minotaur. That's a stun on the number six Skaven lineman. He's effectively out for the rest of the game. Two die block on the troll is going to be a good knockdown as well. He had an Uffle. Has all but run out of time to try to win this game. But they can certainly tie this game after being down 2-0 to zero at the end of the first half. Turn 15 for Bonsai Legends. They have to try to stop this score. Wow, failed the really stupid roll again, this time on a 4 plus. Uphill blitz on the hobgoblin. Has to spend the reroll. It's gonna be a knock, or he's gonna get himself knocked down, unfortunately. He went for broke, it didn't work out. Turn 15. Me hide and Uffle is gonna score. Probably score on turn 16, unless they're feeling really frisky. He hide an awful with fantastic reroll management here. They started this half with two rerolls, whereas Bonsai Legends had five. Bonsai Legends has no more rerolls. Knee hide an awful still has one remaining. Yeah. <laughs> hand off to the bull. There is no way on earth. He's going to hand this ball off to anyone. <laughs> Throw it back to the Minotaur. <laughs> and then have the Minotaur GFI to score. Two die block on the number three Skaven Blitzer. This will be a push result. He'll follow up and get another block out of this. This time an unskilled block, but it is a wrestle block. This will work out regardless. Oh, wow, got a great stun. Really just getting rid of that MA was uh, what he was looking for, but that stun means that the Skaven Blitzer is a threat no more. Two die block against number five. He had enough of taking all these blocks, as you do as a bashy team. Nobody left standing for Bonsai Legends. The ball's going to coast up to the 24-yard line. Tries to move the Bull Centaur, doesn't work out. That's or The uh, Minotaur doesn't work out. He'll move this Bull Centaur as well. And that'll be his turn. I don't really think there's anything that Bonsai Legends can do here. Turn 16 for Bonsai Legends. Final turn of the ball game for Bonsai Legends. They cannot get to the ball carrier. They're not going to stop the draw. Can they get any good hits out of... Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. He gets the mark at least. <laughs> I I feel like I feel like you're tempting Nuffle with that. <laughs> but you know what? SP Beaver says make him roll for it. He's not gonna make him roll for it. He's gonna get blocked down. <laughs> but you know what? Play to win, baby. <laughs> Play to win. I I respect it. All right, that's a roll. Sure, it's a roll. It's a roll where your AV7 player could die. <laughs> Turn 16 for Dehide and Nuffle. Oh boy, there's a there's a blitz there's a blitz a coming. <laughs> what is that about? What is what? <laughs> what is that?
I have no idea what this is about. Three die <laughs> block with Boulder Dash with the black skill. Gets a stun out of it. That's gonna be it. Two to two will be the score of this game. We'll see if he tempts fate anymore. I certainly wouldn't. I would just score. I feel like this is Nuffle tempting you. He says, you wanna take blocks? You wanna take blocks? Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Take the block. <laughs> you think he's really gonna try to hand off? He wants to put the win in the in the fate of a 75%. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I am utterly speechless. Wanted to get the SPP on the Bull Centaur. It was a 50-50 handoff. He spent his final reroll. He thought 75% was enough, and it wasn't. And now knee high to Nuffle is gonna lose this ball game. Holy moly. How much do you think he regrets that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Looking to spread the SPP around a little bit. Oh man. Here comes the GG foul. Three assists. <laughs> SPP for six. <laughs> when I said make a roll for it, that wasn't that wasn't the roll I was thinking. <laughs> that is it. Bonsai Legends somehow <laughs> is gonna take this one two to one. Not a single offensive touchdown scored this game. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Knee high enough with the 23 armor <laughs> breaks. Man, oh boy. 13 SPP for uh, Bonsai Legends, 16 for Knee high and Nuffle. Ball possession just about dead even for both coaches. Wow. That, I, man. <laughs> Oh, that was knee high to Nuffle's game to lose. Well, they weren't going to win, but they could have drawn this game. After after being down 2-0 at the half, to come back and score a two-turn touchdown in the second half with their own defense, and then they were right at they were right at the end zone. They could have tied the ball game up after being down by two points at the half. And they wanted the SVP, and Nuffle said, not today. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's the first game of week three, boy. <laughs> what a game that was. <laughs> Are they all gonna be like this? <laughs> the next game in week three is gonna be take the wood, take the bad at a minor matter. Uh, both teams in first place in division A. That'll be this Sunday, August 14th at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, that is, of course, unless the Tainted Cocktails at Womb Guardians match gets scheduled to play before then. All the games are scheduled except for that last game. And uh, when it gets scheduled, you'll be able to check out the schedule here on Twitch. And you can also check out the schedule, schedule on our Twitter and Facebook accounts, and you can find the information for that right there on your screen. Holy moly, play Blood Bowl. <laughs> play Blood Bowl. Wow. <laughs> you too could have a hobgoblin <laughs> hand the ball to a bull centaur who just swats it out of the air. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs>
All right, well, <laughs> that was super fun to watch. I think I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have a great evening. I am so spe I don't know what to say. <laughs> Clytheus says, Nuffle has forsaken me. He did, he, you spat in his eye. <laughs> what else, how else did you think he was gonna respond to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll do it for tonight. Our next game is going to be on Sunday, August 14th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. <laughs> Until then, enjoy your weekend, everybody. Oh, man. <laughs>